welcome back, it's Christine again with The Artist Pod, and today we'll be talking about how to sketch a rat. As always, I'm using a Wacom Intos Pro tablet and I'm drawing straight into Photoshop. So, let's get arting. Alright, so um, we're going to start, uh, like always, we're going to open up Photoshop. We're going to come up here to a new um, canvas, and you can see I use this a lot. It's 15 by 18 at 300. You can see that over here, right? 15 uh, inches by 18 inches, 300 uh, pixels per inch. Um, and then I'm just going to hit create. Um, now I'm going to come down here and hit uh, add a new layer, create a new layer. I'm going to come up here to edit and fill to black and then start a new layer, change my color to purple so that I don't um, get confused with um, you know fur color mixing in with like if I use white or something and the animal happens to be white, it can get a little confusing over what's what. So this is my way of making sure I don't accidentally get myself mixed up. And then we're going to draw the rat. Um, so I always start with the eyes. Um, so we're just going to come over here and I'm always double check that you're on the right layer. So I haven't done anything here. So this is my drawing layer. Start with the eyes. So we're just going to do a roughly rounded shape. Now you could do the... the um, eyelid in a couple different ways. You can do the eyelid into that rounded shape. Um, I usually draw over top of it, but um, that is up to you. And then I continue that rounded shape. I'm going to have it kind of on the back side. Make one roughly the same height, size, in general. It doesn't have to be perfect. Roughly the same on the other side. So that's a bit big. And then same thing, right? I'm going to come up and have the eyelid here. So we're going to come down here for the nose, right? We're going to have like a little bit of an inset. Helps if I do it in between. A little bit of an inset kind of flares out at the bottom, almost like a dog's nose. So you'll have some hair coming up. Right, you have the edge of the nose here. And then likewise at the bottom, you have kind of the same thing. Typically they can have like a little dip in their noses, much like um, dogs or cats. Uh, like those animals, right? They're gonna have that, um, those, their cheeks coming down. We're doing kind of an extreme position on the nose here. Both sides roughly being the same height, so this one is not. <laughs> right, and by that I mean it loops down in the same way, unless you want to turn the body or do something, have a different angle coming on. They should roughly be the same. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but better than what I had just done. Um, I'm going to give him a little bit of a smile down here. Uh, and then face coming in and again trying to balance both sides and then you would have you know the head coming up and we'll have the whiskers and stuff coming off too um, the head wouldn't be all that far up I'm going to readjust the eyes real fast. Make them a little bit more centered. So I'm just taking the uh, lasso tool and then the move tool and I'm just going to shift them. Okay. So, um, all right, this would be coming in pretty, pretty quickly. And then the, the head, because of our angle, pretty far down, you have the ear. That's going to come up and then kind of loop, right? And they're going to have just this little bit of pink. We've done this before in other animals. Same thing on this side. We'll have it come up and kind of do this swoop as it comes down. And then that little bit of ear fluff in the middle 
and this would be the fluff as well on this side. I was gonna just doesn't matter with this, but make it better your fluff, right? I'll add in some eyebrows. Um, I maybe even make the face a little thinner. So once again, we'll do that by taking the eyes. Now it's a Eyes would be on the side of, it fa of its face, like most, um, you know, it's not a predator, so. So if I do that, I would need to then thin the drawing of the face, just debating on if that would look right or not. I'm sure it would. So a quick way to do that would just to be pushing it in. Take that. So I'm just debating on if I want the nose to be out like it is or if I don't right and then so we'll pull this in oh wait except I included the eye so to unexclude something right I'm gonna take that um, I'm gonna hit alt and that'll unselect an area and then as soon as I hit the move button it'll select only what I've selected right so then I can pull this over thins the face and then select inverse to the other side. Now we're not going to do that. We're just going to reselect it. Um, so then we need to do this so the same thing to this side. Once again, hit Alt and deselect the eye, and then move it as much as we did on the other. Yeah, that thins it out. Makes it look a little bit more um, potentially rat-like. I think I'm going to do one more thing because I have this angle as it is. I'm going to see how it looks if I push the top. Yeah. Makes it look like it's more extreme. And then just sort of oh, fixing that. Sometimes when I do the eraser on my um, stylus, it thinks it's the brush tool. I mean, alas, <laughs> it's fine. Gives a little bump. <laughs> yeah, and then you get more of that sense that it's kind of an extreme, right? Like you have this um, extreme angle here. I don't often you know, do anything with the lines I put by the eyes, but they make me feel better about having lines by the eyes, I guess. All right. And then, you know, the whiskers again. Eee. Look a little silly if I miss the eye completely. So again, this is something that I may or may not add, just depends. I don't, know, I don't have to do it very good. Just a reminder that maybe I consider it Okay, so there's our sketch of, <laughs> of the rat. All right, so that's how you sketch a rat. I hope that's helpful. In the floating nether next to me, I have other videos of art tutorials I have done, and I will see you all soon. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.